Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about the COVID vaccine that just came out. Yes, the COVID vaccine is not out. It just hit the states. You know, it's being distributed everywhere. And I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of questions, skepticism. Like, is it even safe? Should I even have my family take it? Is it good for pregnant women? Like, is it's, it good for babies? Is it good for babies as well? So, you know, we're going to dive in and we're going to hit y'all with the facts for sure. Like, Yes. So we're going to be talking about three main points. The first point is, if you get the vaccine, is it really safe for you? Are you going to be prevented against the coronavirus? Or is it just not going to work? Or is it the same as not getting the vaccine? Second, we would like to know how does it work? Because if you put something in your body, of course, you would like to know if it harms you or if it doesn't harm you. And that leads to the third part. Is it harmful? Because of course nobody wants to take in something that harms them. And will it be effective in actually preventing and making sure that you stay safe? So in order to know if this vaccine actually works, studies are done. Studies get to show us how will this vaccine actually react to the general population. So a study that was done by Pfizer and BioNTech actually had 43,000 participants who were volunteers and they volunteered to half of them get the vaccine without knowing who got the vaccine and who didn't and half of them got the placebo. In the study, 170 of the people who participated in the study ended up getting coronavirus. And out of the 170, the people who got the COVID vaccine, most of them did not end up contracting coronavirus. Whereas the placebo, 162 of them out of 170 contracted the coronavirus. So this goes to show without the vaccine, more people are actually at risk, at a higher risk to contract the coronavirus. Whereas with the vaccine, it actually reduces all these other people who did not contract coronavirus. Why did it even come out so fast? Because a lot of people are skeptical. They're like, yo, like we just, had a COVID, it started like in March, in March, right. and then all of a sudden, like out of the blue, like they got a whole vaccine for it, Ready. and they expect everybody to just line up and just take that, like, I know a lot of people are skeptical, but a lot of people don't know that the SARS vaccine started like back in 2003. That vaccine was already in the works, so this is another version like of the SARS vaccine, so a lot of people don't like really know about that, but even though there's a lot of, you know, clinical studies that still has to be done, but, you know, they sped up that process because of, like, the need of, you know, COVID vaccine. The vaccine came out super fast, and that may be skeptical to some people, but people will need to understand how it works, at least roughly. Exactly. So, as soon as you get injected with the vaccine, first, it sends a message, a messenger RNA. This messenger RNA is uh, gives instructions for your body to actually make this protein for the coronavirus. So, no, they're not injecting the coronavirus in you, but they're just injecting instructions. Once your body makes the protein, it's identifiable by different antibodies in your body, such as the T cells and the B cells. So, the T cells and the B cells actually have a memory system. They're called memory T and memory B cells. So, once in contact with that virus, they will go ahead and eradicate it from your body, but they will also form a memory, an understanding of, okay, this is what this virus looks like, and in case I come in contact with it any time, I will go ahead and make sure I obliterate that virus quicker and more efficiently. So, does that virus actually, like, get in contact with your DNA, like... So, no, mRNA virus does not get into your actual DNA. This actually stays outside of the nucleus and the nucleus of your cell is where your own DNA is found. So this mRNA vaccine, that's the COVID vaccine, does not in any way get in contact with your own DNA and does not change anything that happens with your original DNA. Hmm, that seems pretty safe, but there's also some side symptoms that a lot of people don't know about, especially people that took the vaccine already, like they experience, you know, mouses, they still experience some headache. Yeah. Uh, they had a, like a soreness at the injection area. Yes, that's um, pretty common. What else? They had like muscle aches. You know, it's kind of similar to the symptoms of COVID to begin with. So um, They would have sometimes a fever. And this only lasted about two days. Yeah, this had around two days. It's 95% effective. So, yes. you know, it is pretty effective. It should be in, in good shape and not contacting the virus. 
So it's still 5% chance, but 95% does seem pretty good. Right. Another important thing about the study is even though it's 95% effective, the 5% still ended up catching coronavirus, but they did not get severe symptoms of coronavirus. So they did not really need hospitalization while taking the coronavirus vaccine. So whoever took the vaccine avoided severe symptoms of coronavirus. Of course, there's so many good things about this vaccine. And we mentioned some of the things we're having trouble with about the vaccine, such as should we give it to pregnant. people with a, yeah, pregnant, pregnant women or Babies. people with a pre-existing condition, such as diabetes, pneumonia, or anything else that they may be going through health-wise already, is it safe for them? So there's so many questions as to is it the safety of this drug, because this study was done on fairly healthy individuals. Exactly. So, so it wasn't even on individuals that has underlying health condition that's not really, you know, fit. And because, you know, Americans, <laughs> We're not fit at all. We're like the leading uh, country of an obese. So anyway, what would right? happen to an obese person? That exactly. Right. These are just it's... things that, with the study prolonging, mm -hmm. we will get to find answers for it. Exactly. So we want to talk about our opinions on it. Like you know, we take out with some of these facts. You know, there's some research on this. Speaking of opinions, I do like the fact that the coronavirus vaccine has came out already simply because 2020 has been very stagnated in terms of businesses being closed, also going out to business. There's so many things and so many opportunities that have been missed or delayed because of the because of social distancing that has been going on. So we're ready to get things back on track 2021. So hopefully this vaccine is a step forward and it's also safe for more people to get vaccinated because when more people get vaccinated, it's safe for everybody in general. Say you stop wearing a mask because you think the vaccine is out. Well, the people that you're in the room with might not have gotten the vaccine. But if they have gotten the vaccine, then it is actually safe for you, safer for you to be around them. So I'm going to talk about now, should you take that vaccine or not? Like, because there's a lot of people skeptical, including me. Is it safe, healthy, for long term, especially because, you know, there's been a lot of studies out. And they did a lot of studies on um, healthy people. They did a lot of studies on um people that within a range of like 16 and what 92 or something like that it was a wide range but they never really had like a concrete study on long-term effects because you know they had to speed up this whole vaccination process like that's the only thing i'm really mainly skeptical about is this vaccine even even safe long term like so that's mainly what I'm thinking about because you know, you don't want to take the vaccine unless you know five years later like your head might fall off your shoulders like you might just like turn. You don't know what can happen. Anything can happen. Like, like I don't know if I, I would take that vaccine like and a lot of people may be thinking the same thing if they had the virus because they had the virus and they had the antibodies. Like, will they even take the vaccine? Like, you know, does it even make sense to even take it? Honestly, it's really up to you if you want to take that, if you want to take the vaccine or not, you know, definitely if you have any questions about it, you should definitely contact your health provider or talk to a doctor, a nurse, you know, definitely somebody in the healthcare, um, you, yeah, know, it's, you know, it should definitely, so, you know, it's really up to you. If you feel comfortable taking a vaccine, go ahead. You Make sure you stay safe. <laughs> Make sure you have your mask up as usual. Please Still follow the guidelines. Up vaccinated or not please follow the guidelines and make sure everybody is safe around you and people you know people you don't know just let's drop these numbers in 2021 let's at least be the be contribute to the people who actually keep everybody else safe and we don't want to see any more deaths and all these cases and yeah, and really. hospitalization yeah, in 2021 yeah. we want to leave all of that in 2020 if we can guys make sure you stay safe make sure you social distance and wear your masks okay. thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and share the video to get the news out what are you the chosen one am i what are you the chosen one am i the chosen one oh, oh. oh.